What's going on guys? It's Tyson with Blevins Family Farm. And today we're out at the new land. We're gonna do a little work out here. We're gonna do a couple of little things. One, we're gonna, uh, here, let me just kind of show you something. Another man's trash is, an, is another man's treasure. Old concrete. I had a, one of my buddies had this sitting on the back of his truck and it's been raining so much here lately in Oklahoma that uh, I asked it got wet and once it gets wet it's really not good for much actually and I said hey what are you gonna do with that he goes I'm gonna go dump it I said well dump it in the back of my truck so uh, I'm gonna reuse this stuff what I'm gonna do of course it's gonna take a little more of it but just to kind of get the g gist of a little bit we're gonna use it down here in, our, in the creek what I'm gonna do we're gonna find a decent spot in the creek and I'm kind of gonna dam it up a little bit somewhere water is constantly flowing in this creek and I think I've told you all that before but it's not it's just more of a trickle but what I'm gonna do is try to dam it up just enough for the goats to be able to get a drink down here in the creek they don't always have to go up to where the barn is they can come right down here and get a drink and it'll be nice and fresh and if it's anything like way been at a mom's where the goats are right now is uh they prefer drinking out of the creek compared to faucet water which hey it's fine with me but uh we're gonna go it's gonna be kind of fun i'm hoping there's gonna be a spot here pretty close it's kind of grown up when it's grown up it's just really hard to go through the jungle right here let's turn it around here see here there's the water gap if y'all remember we had to add some panels at the bottom of it down there not too long ago but there's my creek and you can tell it is grown up so the goats are really going to like it when they get in here but I'm hoping well, we might end up doing it right here actually See, that, that's actually decently a decent uh, stand of water already right here but then it stops right here so what we might do is right across here we might try to dam it up a little bit right there i'm going to kind of look around and see where, if there might be a better spot it's kind of fun right now to be able to tell through there but, but yeah the goats will really like this like i said water is always coming down through here it's, there's there is some spots that are a little deeper down through there but it's just kind of hard to get to it we'll eventually be able to get to it because the goats will clean this up but it kind of makes it fun for right now but that's the gist of kind of what we're doing for and kind of this a second thing we're doing i've kind of already been doing it i did it uh did I do it last weekend i don't remember but uh we're taking out some not so good plants that are in here and there's only one real good way of doing it you could spray them i used to sell the chemical that does it i'm just if i can the problem is if i spray out here there's a lot of stuff that'll get wiped off that the goats like so the next best thing to do is to pull it and i will show you the devil plant that I have been pulling up and I about got them pretty much wiped out but let's see what this little devil plant looks like all right guys here is what I call the devil plant it's thistle it is not good for anything it will take over it's been a process the last couple years that I've had this property I'm getting rid of it you can tell there's when you're walking out through here the areas that I've pulled it all up and the areas that I haven't as a matter of fact 
there's the creek we were just down in. Here's one. We saw the one that we just kind of show you. I haven't been in this area. Then there's two. That one right there. That's a tall one. And got another one right here. So we're going to get some of them suckers pulled up. And right now is a good time to do it because they haven't gone out to seed. They're still closed up here at the top. And if it'll focus, focus. Ow, little suckers hurt. But anyways, they haven't seeded yet, so I'm just gonna pull them and literally throw them. Cause the goats will, after they got everything that they like out through here, they'll come back eventually and eat these and wipe them out but they're so out of control right now i don't want them to be more out of control before the goats decide to start eating them so we're going to get rid of these plants and you got to watch out there's just mean i wish it would focus okay see that has some little stupid spines all over them those little things hurt so bad but the devil plants have got to go so we're gonna get rid of some of them today too all right guys and one thing to know you need to wear leather gloves when you're pulling these things up because i showed you the spikes they will about the way i do it is i try to bend it, the plant over find the bottom pull it up there's roots and Toss to the side. Get rid of these things. They're actually an invasive species too. And they're just not good for anything. So let's just get rid of them. Kind of do it back in, back over in here somewhere, but it's just too thick for me to get to. But I had a revelation. I'm gonna get. I actually used it, all of it. There's a heck of a drop off right there from where my fingers go on to my fence. Packed all of it in right in there to kind of help wash it out. What I'm going to end up doing is getting some bigger gravel and go right through there to right in there where I actually said I was going to stop it. Or I thought about stopping the water earlier right here. So from right there, across here. Get some bigger gravel and kind of go up a little ways. And go up a little ways here, try to keep some of this from washing out as bad. But it'll work. Got, got one. Yeah, but like I said, I think I can cover, end up covering all that up pretty good. Just trying to keep it from washing out. It's not made like that. It's just solely washed out right there underneath it. We'll get there. And guys, I went ahead and uh put on a thistle killing spree. I didn't film any of it because I didn't think y'all would want to sit there and watch somebody uh literally pick weeds out of uh, 
but I will kind of show you. See this tall weed right here from right there to my fence up to the oak tree right up there which is gonna be a nice big shade tree for the goats up there by the barn there's the barn so from that area there's not one thistle left there's a bunch more there's still a few sticking out right out in there I'll get to them eventually but those suckers are just not very easy to pull and they wear you out fast trying to pull them up. Alright guys, I'm kind of driving through the pasture, but you can kind of see the graveyard of thistles kind of through here. So I just kind of want to show you all kind of where I was. Kind of what it looks like as I'm pulling them up. And since I'm out to a new place, I thought I might as well give a house update to kind of show you where we're at and kind of what we're waiting for. So let's kind of look around here. All right, this is new. Once again, this is gonna be the kitchen right here. This is gonna be our walk-in pantry. So we'll be able to walk right in here and keep all of our goods. Gives us kind of another little area right in here where we can put something. I'm not sure what we're going to put yet because, once again, that's the back door, back porch. As you can tell, almost all electrical lines are run. Plugs we put in. We're waiting on the plumber. Um, hook up the uh, or to fix ever the mistakes that were made from the other plumber we hired, but uh, it's gonna work out. The guy coming and get everything ready because once the plumber is done, we're gonna get the blow insulation, the foam insulation, and start getting that done. As you can tell, not a lot been done it just turns into a waiting game waiting for people to be able to come do what they need to do they'll have to come set the t that was it they gotta come set the tubs too but uh that's kind of it still taking shape guys still taking shape i don't know if you're, let's show i'm gonna want to show you our front porch view while i'm thinking about it Really didn't do it justice. But you can see off forever, kind of down through there. Be the, eventually front porch will be here. I wasn't in a big hurry to do the front porch because we're really not gonna spend that much time out here. We'll spend most of our time on the back porch back there. Because we'll be able to see the goats and all that good stuff. But there's your house update as of right now. Everything that's gone on. Now, like I said, it's just a waiting game. Well, guys, that's kind of all I got for you today. I just kind of wanted to let you see what I've been doing out here. What I was doing today. And uh, kind of give you an update on the house. And. As you can tell, the uh, pasture's grown up really nicely. Most of you know we have a lot of new subscribers actually right now. But uh, I'm let we brush hogged right before spring, knock all the dead stuff down. And now I've been letting it grow up. Because hopefully the goal is August. I'm hoping sometime in August we're moving out here, and I hope it's over my head. Right now the weeds are about my or weeds and grass are about to my knees some of it's taller than that but it's gonna be a nice uh nice surprise for the goats 
when we get out here because they're I don't think they're gonna know what to do with themselves when we finally get out here but uh it's kind of the update I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget hit that like button to all the new subscribers welcome thank you Daniel for uh sending them over and uh if you haven't don't forget notification bell let you know every time I post a video and guys as always I'll see you on the next video.